Mechanism of Action of B-Cell Therapy B-cells are extremely diverse members of adaptive immunity. They play a major role in mediating tissue damage in MS. These highly selective, clonally restricted B-cells are believed to actively traffic between the periphery and CNS in MS patients. An important recent finding is that B-cell-rich aggregates, also known as lymphoid follicles, are present in the meninges in people with MS and appear to contribute to the cortical neurodegeneration typical of progressive MS. In MS, B-cells are believed to cross the blood-brain barrier and undergo stimulation, maturation and clonal expansion within the CNS. Antigen presentation between B-cells and T-cells, increased trafficking of B-cells across the blood-brain barrier and autoantibodies and cytokines produced by plasma cells and B-cells may contribute to the pathophysiology of MS. Clonally related B-cells exist in the brain, meninges and CSF in people with MS and are also responsible for synthesis of the characteristic oligoclonal antibodies bands characteristic of MS. Monoclonal antibodies have been directed against CD20, a B-cell specific surface molecule. Although the exact etiology of B-cell depletion is unknown, three different mechanisms of action have been established. First, complement-dependent cytotoxicity leading to cell lysis. Second, antibodies are bound on the cell surface. Antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity involving natural killer cells, macrophages and cytotoxic T-cells causing cell destruction. And third, apoptosis, which occurs through cross-linking membranes of CD20 on the target cell surface. The FAB domain of the drug binds to the CD20 antigen on B-cells, and the FC domain recruits immune effector cells that result in B-cell death. Effects on relapsing MS of CD20 therapy are robust, and also that CD20 therapy is the first approach that has shown partial benefit for primary progressive MS. Because the CD20 antigen is not expressed on stem cells or plasma cells, CD20 treatment preserves B-cell reconstitution by stem cells and also preserves pre-existing immunity mediated by long-lived plasma cells. CD20 lysis is more effective for circulating B-cells. B-cells residing in secondary lymphoid structures are relatively protected from CD20-mediated lysis, and this may also account in part for the favorable safety record of this approach. CD20 targeting therapy was shown to robustly suppress the development of new enhancing lesions and relapse rates of MS.